a review about A Princess Tears by Silver Quill. This story is told, told by an earth pony by the name of Clutter Step from his history point of view when he grew up in Cantalot. To see him growing up as an orphan and even to be bullied by another noble society class in Cantalot because he is an orphan and he is not an elite class like them. Just about to see someone bullied because he is not part of their class. It is unspeakable because why can't someone stop bullying because he is not part of their class? And even to see Clutter Step spending some time with Twilight in a maze. She is overwhelmed because she has been a new crowned princess and she was not expected to be a princess. And Cloud Step tried to cheer her up and he managed to do that. And before he even encountered her, they actually met each other when they were just Phyllis in Cantalot, long before the Twilight became an alicorn. When all about this story began behind all this, it is actually has some sort of behind moral. And I think the moral behind this story is no matter who you are, and this not that depends if you're rich or you're famous or a celebrity or even loyalty. It's not that doesn't matter. Twilight don't treat Cutterstep differently because he's not a royal or a noble. He is he's a like a in the term he's more like of an well working class or a poor class I don't know for sure but she treats him like any pony else and he really tries to cheering her up and she and he managed to do it but even just to see her they talking but then interrupt but this too noble Smears from the party and even threatening him to put it in a dungeon. But see, all of them, including with the guards trapped inside the maze, they can't leave because it is a sort of magical maze made by Starswell the Beard. But overall, that even to see Twilight being like bullied by the same two mares who is bullied Cloud Step. That was something I did not expect. I for first of all I thought every noble in Equestria would treat Twilight as an equal princess like Celestia and Luna and Cadence. But instead, she was treated like a, as Celestia's marionette or puppet. Why in the hay can they not expect, even even respect, a princess like equal and just treating her like she's a no pony at all? Wow, this is unspeakable. And 
At some point one day trying to even pull it close up once again inside the maze, something happened. Twilight snapped. Because one of the guards told them told them to treat Twilight with respect. But she said that she understand, but they could not treat her like that. Even one of their, her, even one of the, the mayor's fathers, su supply with with airships to the cantonot. That is something which I can't tolerate. I mean, two noble mayors talking like know how to twilight. Treating her as if she is not an rogue at all, treating her as she is a normal unicorn or just a normal pony, not a princess. They believe that she sort of bought or paid for her princess title or something. Oh man. That is so low, even for two mares like them, like this. Wow. But overall, all this, it was actually good to see that Twilight found a solution for they all get out of this maze, turning everyone to different animals like ducks or bear. But even cloud step was turning into a rock. But that was the only temporary solution until they couldn't walk out from the maze. And even to see Shining Armor was concerned that his sister just left. And even just all to see telling what Cloud Step told, told Twilight about a little bit. A little more of his background after he left, or even became an orphan after that. He lived on the castle before, but then somehow, at some point, he just left. I think so, anyway. But even to that, even when Shining Armor tried to tell that Cadence and her friends was looking for her, that Cadence was trying to keep up, cover up for them, but she couldn't have done it for long. But even just to see later when Cadence and the other her friends was happy to see her again. But then to see Cadence noticed that something, a boy, and even her friends was surprised even to wonder who could it be. And even to see Spike surprised though, I hope not you get anything on you, but something like that, but yeah, Twilight's friends ask if this stallion was her special son pony, but she said, Twilight said that Cloud Step is not her special song pony, not yet. But he is something special, she said. And even it seems that Twilight has some strong feelings for Cloud Step. At the same time, it seems that Cloud Step has some strong feelings for Twilight. But when all of this it proves that Twilight has found some pony that that could be her special some pony. But this story is, is something that is much different from many others. This has a moral because of like stop bullying and trust, even no matter what background you are from. Like, Twilight is royalty, and Cloud Step, he is orphan, and he has, seems, no home. 
he is like a traveler. But it seems no matter, because true love can win overall anything. Even the, the even they were like a traveler with no home and a princess or a queen. True love can always win. Depends, no matter what. In some stories, like this one, a princess who has fallen in love with none, noble, or even a mercenary, well, mostly a noble, can't work because her parents were even allow her to marry a no a non noble man. But this story proves, and is even test showing, that noble life and a princess life would could work. Even the the stallion like Klaustap is not noble. Their love might someday flourish, and even who knows, like. End up in marriage, children. But yeah, and all all this. What do I think about a princess' tears? Hmm. Well, to be honest, I think this story is incredibly impressive. Silver Quill. He has a great talent to do stories like this one, and I really hope that there will be more like this one in the future. Who knows? And I really recommend to anyone to just to read this story. It is actually quite good. I will give this five of five most because of this story and even the moral behind all this. And wow, this story is wow, it's actually quite good. When I read this story, it is felt is my heart was jumping or even felt. A relief. Like I said, I really recommend it to this video to anyone just to read and even look at. And as always, this is Swedish Jablo Opera.